I just got myself a brand new 16 inch Apple MacBook Pro. And of course I have to build an invention for it first. So I came across this meme a few weeks ago on Twitter and it's Kanye West holding his MacBook Pro casually in his hand and the person saying it is the richest way you can possibly hold a MacBook Pro. So the plan today is to recreate that meme and build the richest carrying case for my brand new MacBook Pro. But I really can't wait any longer. I need to get this thing unboxed. Baby, this thing is hefty and it is absolutely gorgeous. But let's get building. So my plan of attack for this one is to create a silicone replica of my own hand, but in that position you need to carry your MacBook Pro. Actually, right over here, I actually have a very similar silicone mold of my hand, but I think there's one issue why this won't hold the MacBook. With just the silicone, the fingers are a little too flexible, and I don't think there's gonna actually be any way for this thing to grip onto the MacBook Pro without it just completely slipping out. So I think within the silicone hand itself, I'm gonna need to 3D print a bracket that goes inside of here that snugly fits onto the MacBook Pro here, and that way it'll hopefully grip onto here so that when we slide the silicone hand on it firmly stays exactly where we want it to be and my brand new computer doesn't go crashing down to the ground because I spent way too much money on this brand new computer for it to break on me right off the bat but let's go ahead and open up our computer and just grab that new 3d printed part that we're gonna need for the inside of the hand if we go ahead and close up the computer this should perfectly fit right onto the MacBook right here so now it grips onto the laptop and the hand is gonna be covering that. So hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. So now we just need the silicone version of this, embed this into here, and hopefully it'll hold our MacBook. And for this project, I'm gonna be using AlgaSafe by SmoothOn. It's basically this white little powder that when you mix it with water, it becomes this sort of weird oatmeal stuff, but it allows you to make a perfect mold of your hand. And then we'll pour silicone into that mold to get our official hand. But another fun idea I had for the silicone hand was to add little extra grips to the end of my fingers. I 3D printed these little platforms with little nubs on them, and hopefully it'll give us just a little bit extra grip at the end of our hands when we're holding the MacBook. And if it doesn't, at least it'll maybe look kinda cool. But we aren't gonna need this box here, but let's grab ourselves a bucket and pour the AlgaSafe powder into this bucket pretty much to the top. And it should hopefully be just enough to get my whole hand down into this bucket. Now we just gotta take this bucket, and fill it up with equal parts warm water. And you only get about 15 minutes from the time you start mixing these two things together to when it fully hardens. So we gotta get our 3D printed bracket, get it perfectly situated into my hand. We've got the little nubs on our finger. So we'll mix these two parts together, stick our hand in, and hope that we make a perfect mold of this hand. So let's quickly get to work. Well, it is safe to say that I made an absolute mess trying to make this mold. But as you can tell, the mold is now no longer liquid and it is solid, so I think I should be able to pull my hand out of here. Should be able to just wiggle my hand back and forth until it is ready to slide on out. Ugh. I lost one of my finger nubbies in there. All right, I took some time and got everything cleaned up with the mold. I just forgot my shirt. That's much better. Unnecessary.co for the merch. Go shop now. But here we have hopefully the final mold for the invention. On the back side there, we should have my fingers and everything. Then you can see right inside of there, we have the little section that's gonna have the MacBook holder itself. And speaking of the MacBook holder, that is one piece that I slightly modified to make it a little bit stronger and hopefully stay inside the mold. And speaking of the silicone, just like I use SmoothOn AlgaSafe for this, I'm using SmoothOn MoldStar 20T for the silicone. It's basically a super simple two-part silicone solution 
solution. And just like the algae safe, you just have to mix equal parts A and equal parts B to get our silicone mixture. Then I'm gonna add in some silicone pigment that matches my skin tone a little bit because they always look extra creepy when it looks super lifelike to me. Then we just have to take the 3D printed holder that's gonna grip onto our MacBook and slide it into the algae safe mold. I'll slowly pour the silicone mold into the hole in the top, letting it fill slowly from the top to the bottom so that we get no air bubbles. And once it's been about 30 minutes, it's ready to be taken out of the mold, which uh, should be right about now. And it feels like such a make or break moment right now. Is the mold gonna work? Is the MacBook holder gonna work? Is the silicone not gonna have any bubbles? We will find out right now. However, it's fully hardened, so let us slowly Take this out of here. Ugh, it's still really sticky on the outside. If everything went to plan, this shouldn't be stuck to this mold at all. And it should hopefully, just like my hand did, wiggle right on out of here. Okay, plan B, I'm just gonna break off the mold a little bit. A nice chunk out. This is the most anti-climactic reveal there has ever been on YouTube. Not too bad, not too bad. <sighs> Spoiler alert, it did actually come out pretty bad. The details in the fingertip nubbies did not come out looking cool. There were a few different air bubble issues. I think I added too much pigment and it just kind of looks chalky and I'm really not happy with it. So I made a brand new one that looks so much better. It looks a lot cleaner without the fingertip nubbies. I used less pigment this time and I also super glued my hand together and the bracket to my hand so everything would be in the perfect location. I also added in a little extra grip here. I just busted out my Glowforge laser cutter, put in a piece of rubber with adhesive backing and laser cut out the perfect size that I was gonna need and slapped it right on there so it will never drop my MacBook hopefully. And the last thing that we need to create is a holster for the top of the hand that will connect the gold chain that goes around our waist. I am really excited for this project to get finished up. Clip number two, throw it over my shoulder. And I am feeling so rich right now. <laughs> so here is a final look at our extremely rich MacBook holder. I added in the metal accents on each side so that we could hang the chain from our new 3D printed bracket. And the hand is attached to that bracket and still looking beautiful as always. And then it just slides down and fits perfectly right here on your hip for your MacBook to hang right down here, which we do need to test. Does this actually hold a MacBook? I'll grab the new MacBook Pro here. We've got our hand. So now it should pretty firmly slide right onto there. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. And now will it actually hold and dangle? <laughs> that thing isn't going anywhere. I don't think I can say that I'm not nervous, but man, this thing really is stuck inside of there. I mean, look, it hasn't even budged a single bit. I am going to be looking so expensive. I invented the Gripbook Pro, the richest way to carry your MacBook Pro out and about around town. Our luxurious carrying device features a replica hand ergonomically designed to mimic your own grasp. Inside, you'll find our sure-fit mounting bracket with non-slip pads that perfectly hug, hold, and firmly grip your high-priced portable computer. Throw it on and let it hang across your body from our solid gold chains. Now everyone around town will know you're another overly proud owner of an Apple device. And all expectations completely blown away by this invention. I, I have to say I'm in love. I love this thing. Well, I love Apple products, so I love this thing that I can carry my new favorite Apple product. Leave a comment down below on what Apple product I should build an invention for next. There's plenty of them. Maybe we can go into the archives and make something for like a super old Apple product. I think that's about all I have for you guys. I'm gonna go strut around Burlington, Vermont and let everyone know that I've got a brand new MacBook. I'll see you at the next Unnecessary Invention. See ya.